titled Not Me Please, a designed oil showing a GI in battle. Again, trying to show an expression of fear. No one wants to end up by being a negative statistic. Taking a quick break, a quick nap. This is painted from a watercolor sketch in 1948. This oil was brusquely done with brushes and painting knives, mostly painting knives, which shows how we took battle and catnaps. Harbine on the ready, cold as Hades, and every 10 seconds your eyes opened up again in anticipation of what? Getting up after an hour or so of sleep, you hear gunfire, you hear shells exploding, is this a bad dream? No, unfortunately, it's reality. This is a temper painting, again, based upon the Battle of Bastogne. An oil painting done in 1948, which I called No. And here I try to show a soldier at the moment of being hit by a piece of shrapnel. He's angry at being hit. He's amazed at being hit. He feels pain, he feels fear. And this particular technique tries to utilize as much drama as possible for the effect of how it feels to be hit and to say, no, it can't be me, but it is. The Battle of the Bows is finally over. It's over, and we're war-weary, we're tired, and we rested. In the Battle of the Bulge, I had a small wound, which I kind of neglected, became gangrene and infection set in. I was sent back to a hospital in Saint-Germain-de-Prés, just outside of Paris. Having some time there, I could afford to fill two notebooks with sketches and watercolors. And much later, in the mid-1950s, I tore out three of these sketches and incorporated them in a collage fashion as part of a large acrylic painting. And we see this here. It was a minor wound and a short stay. This painting in oil was done in 1970, and it depicts the GI's dilemma, the plight of GI Joe, in this case, me. The top ribbon represents the Good Conduct Medal given to all who kept their noses clean as a soldier. The lower ribbon represents the European theater of operations with a silver star, indicating that the wearer participated in five battles. Each battle that a soldier would participate in gave him a bronze star. Five bronze stars gave you a silver star. The nerve endings tying together the ribbons with a ball of earth crawling with ants is there to indicate the crawling, creeping feel of being a soldier. And finally, comparing the G.I. Joe with a little frog on a precarious perch, being prodded to jump again, jump again, and jump again. In 1984, I painted myself using an old photograph taken in 1945 in Paris. The war was over. I wondered why, for many years, why I painted it. And now I think I was just saying goodbye to old memories. With his degree from Parsons School of Design and World War II experience behind him, Harold Lehner went on to obtain a Bachelor of Science and Master of Arts degree from New York University. Lehner also earned his doctorate from the State University of New York at Albany. As an educator, Lehner was a supervisor of art education for the city of Poughkeepsie, New York, director of art education for the New York State Department of Education, professor of art at Millersville University, and a visiting professor and lecturer in many colleges and universities. Harold Lehner also maintained his artistic pursuits. As a nationally known artist, Lehner has won many awards for his use of various media and unique painting techniques. He is also exhibited widely in one-man shows and is represented in many private and public collections.
Harold Lehner never saw this project completed. In June of 1991, Harold Lehner passed away. He left us a large collection of his artistic works, a great gift to explore. Harold Lehner will surely be missed. The making of this documentary was very important to Harold. As an artist, he was able to portray the everyday life of a young soldier in the very frightening and all too real time of World War II. He was proud to be a part of the United States Army, and he always felt that he wanted to give something back to his country through his art. Fear, loneliness, pride, and anger are all part of the vivid images Harold has brought to us through his paintings. He continued painting and creating throughout his life. He also spent 45 years devoted to educating students about the importance of creativity in art. I am, of course, very saddened that he could not be here to see this documentary. But we are all so fortunate to have the opportunity to share in his images. The Lehner Foundation Museum is seeking a purchaser for the Harold A. Lehner World War II collection with the aim of having it donated to the Smithsonian Institution. Money from the sale will further the mission of the Lehner Foundation Museum. The collection is valued over $500,000. For details, write to Gloria Lehner, the Lehner Foundation Museum, 6252 East Air Libre Lane, Scottsdale, Arizona, 85254. Visit the Lehner Foundation Museum on our website, www.laner.org. To purchase artwork and support the Lehner Foundation Museum scholarship program, key exhibitions, and other worthy endeavors, call Gloria Lehner at 480-922-0538. Email lfmuseum at uswest.net. Write the Lehner Foundation Museum, 6252 East Air Libre Lane, Scottsdale, Arizona, 85254.